Hello. So, there was a question from someone about Before There Was Time by Cademan's Call. Um, so, I just wanted to kind of break it down real quick and show what I play on that. The intro and first verse is pretty simple. You just got to be able to keep in time with your kick drum. That's it, all right? Usually halfway through when it kind of changes from, um, where is that? Uh, there is life and so just design. Yeah, when it kind of, when the guy singer goes up, before there were days, um, I'll do maybe a little bit on the hi-hat, or a little bit on the snare. Throughout the song, think of like a, um, like a Lawrence Mullen from U2 kind of a feel. You're just, The whole song is kind of like that. Uh, that's kind of what I have playing in the back of my head, and then I kind of go uh, different directions from there. But that's it. So, like when it builds on uh, Before There Were Days. Before there were days. Uh, the song doesn't really fully come in for the drums until the chorus, so we don't want to play too hard on the first verse. It's kind of it's a little bit lighter. Or. Before there were days, maybe on the on the snare, same thing. Before there were days. Uh, there's a bit of a lull on the first part of that line. Before there were, and so the the drums don't really kind of lead in until on days, the downbeat of, of days. So at the end of that, the line before. But there was life and salvation's design. Sixteenth on the snare. Little buzz in there. Okay. I like to play like the Muse drummer, uh, Dominic Howard. I have it in my notes. I'm cheating. Um, yeah, Dominic Howard. Uh, he. I love his early Muse stuff where. He plays a beat, and the hi-hat is with, it seems like anyways, what I hear is the hi-hat's with the foot. He's not doing this. He's going. Remember? Something like that, okay? Uh, so I bring that in because it adds this nice, crisp layer to the chorus. So the one who saved me, this is the end of the, sorry, this is the end of verse one. You came and you took my place. Like, okay. And then chorus, so I cry, and then right on holy, crash it up. I cry, and then hi-hat starts coming in. Close, okay. Cry. <laughs> And then, um, and then we break on at the end of the chorus. The one who saved me, the promises you made, saved, and then come in again. Before there was time. And we're back on the snare, no hi-hat or verse. Ver chor choruses usually are more than the verse. 
So you could do the same beat, but just less on the on the verse. And the other question I had had is uh, just a little bit of a of a fill thing. Um, what I do is just hit your sixteenths, right? And if you're working on being able to add accents wherever you want while you're playing a sixteenths, um, it'll help. But it's kind of like a kind of like a six like a flam that I. I put it, I sneak in an extra beat on the left and then accent with the right. Um, I'll do it on the snare, slow it down, and then I'll put it on the tom uh, so you can hear what that sounds like. So this is like during the repeat of the chorus when it's really full volume. The flam that I do on the toms, uh, basically it's this. So I'm doing like this. Just practice that. Right, left, right, left, left, left. But are you kind of sneaking in that that left faster? Lamp portion, I just put on a tom. Ah, oh, sorry. Sometimes I'll do the accent on the left. And then... Sorry. There you go. That's all I'm doing. So let's practice that. this. Keep your high hat, keep your right hand going. As an aside, you can also just do this during the chorus. Just kick, open hi hat, snare. Not a big deal. So I cry. Kind of change the snare a little bit. Second beat in there. Think about marching. That's what that sounds like. Before there was time, nice quick little breakdown.